People's Platform. Good evening and welcome to the People's Platform. My guest tonight is Dr. Felix Neumann, Ambassador of the Federal Republic of Germany to Sri Lanka. Good evening and welcome to the show, Ambassador. Good evening. Uh, wonderful to have you with us here in Sri Lanka and on tonight's show. Uh, Ambassador, uh, exactly three months ago you presented your letter of credence to uh, President Ranil Vikramasinghe and this is incidentally also uh, your first appointment in South Asia. Um, what have been some of your initial observations in Sri Lanka given Sri Lanka's unique disposition? Uh, it is going through an economic crisis. It is uh, in an IMF supported program. What have been some of your initial observations? My my initial observation is that after 70 years of bilateral relations between Germany and Sri Lanka, these relations are by no ways old. They are actually present, they are lively, they are vivid. Um, you mentioned uh, that I presented my credentials um, in the end of August, three months ago. And I wrote in the book of the, of the President, Germany is here as a friend. And that is my first impression. I am here as a friend and Germany is welcomed as a friend in this country. And this is a solid uh, fundament for continuing our bilateral relations. Sri Lanka and Germany, uh, like you said, will be celebrating 70 years of diplomatic relations um, in a few weeks. Uh, and these long-standing ties have no doubt um, laid the foundation for further enhancing uh, the friendship between the two countries. How do you view this? Indeed. Um, it is our, our firm conviction that we have a lot of possibilities to enhance our bilateral relations. Um, the future will see an enhancement in four, sections, four areas, um, reconciliation, social cohesion, um, climate change is very important, or maybe a more new topic, um, and of course um, uh, our economic uh, relations uh, will be and need to be um, enhanced as well. The private sector is very important. German industry is willing to invest abroad. We and I have learned that Sri Lanka is open for that. So let us work together to ease up the po uh, possibilities for foreign investments in Sri Lanka in order to foster growth which will help Sri Lanka as well in its way to develop. If I may add, uh, we share with uh, Sri Lanka uh, uh, the view that um, a political discussions should be done uh, especially in a regional framework, in a multilateral framework. Um, Sri Lanka took over this year the presidency of the very important regional organization, the Indian Ocean Pacific Rim organization. Mm -hmm. Germany is in that organization active as well as a dialogue partner and uh, together um, we, we can achieve a lot. Um, we share the, the idea that there is a freedom of navigation, that there is a freedom of, of, of using maritime resources but in a sustainable way that blue economy has a future and needs to be developed in order to get the climate change uh, under control. And this f framework, this multilateral framework, is of course with the, on the fundament of the rule of law. Um, we share uh, with Sri Lanka the long-standing tradition of being convinced that the rule of law is the one which governs the international relations. It's not uh, the power of the most powerful, but um, the rule of law which is necessary for everyone. And in this multilateral forum, um, we will support and continue to work together with Sri Lanka as well. Uh, Ambassador, in 2022, just last year, bilateral trade with Sri Lanka was worth 1.1 billion euro. Germany is a very important market for Sri Lanka and Germans make up a significant um, number of the country's foreign tourists. Going forward, how can business ties be further enhanced? I share the, the, um, uh, what is said in the question. Um, it is indeed 1. billion euros. That is um, a lot. And um, we can f fostering this. Um, uh, both countries um, have a sense for free market economy. Um, there are free companies in both uh, markets. Um, there are more than 200 German brands represented in Sri Lanka. 
they are all interested to intensify um, our bilateral relations. You, manage, you mentioned the tourist sector. Um, more and more tourists after the COVID crisis, German tourists are coming back to uh, Sri Lanka. Sri Lanka has a great natural potential. Sri Lanka is a, is a green island, is a beautiful nature, has variant cli vari uh, different climates to offer. And um, the German tourist of today is aware of a sustainable tourist um, behavior. He is interested to learn uh, the foreign cultures. Um, there are long-standing ties between German uh, uh, tourists as well and, and, and Sri Lankan hosts. Many of them repeat now to come. Um, what we see is that up to July already more than 53,000 tourists from um, um, Germany visited Sri Lanka and the season is still to come um, as we are talking here um, in Berlin if I may say the, the, the it's zero degrees so it's rather cold um, nature is now sleeping so this will help, of course, now for more tourists come uh, to Sri Lanka. And um, together with the Sri Lankan tourism industry, a lot can be achieved to build up for that in future as well. Uh, Germany is also engaged in Sri Lanka in various uh, ways through the Goethe Institute, the German Academic and Exchange Service, the Development Cooperation Organization, um, and multiple other initiatives. Speak to us about uh, the significance of such initiatives in um, further cementing the relationship between the countries, Dr. Neumann. Indeed, throughout the seven decades, Germany, with the help of Sri Lanka, established what I would call the German network. We, with all our agencies, you named it the German Academic Exchange Service, the Goethe Institute, the GIZ for Development, aid, the Friedrich Naumann Stiftung as a political foundation and since 2018 as well the delegation of the uh, German Chamber for Foreign Trade and Industry um, we have a full set of, of organizations here to provide input for fostering and enhancing bilateral relations. Um, with this network uh, we were able um, uh, to build up here the, 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 the vocational training. There are these famous centers called German Tech mm. in which um, every year young Sri Lankans can get a, a professional qualification uh, which is renowned not only in Germany but uh, globally if I may name two, one or two flagships, there's one in Kilinochi, one in Muratova. Um, this is everyday cooperation. Um, every day there is a chance for, for, for Sri Lankan citizens um, which, um, wishes, which wish to qualify themselves. Um, the centers tell me that um, the Sri Lankan educational system is very good, so there is already a basis on which the special vocation then can, can build on. And uh, this is going to be intensified and going to be continued. And with that personal, um, there is a good basis as well um, provided, you asked for the private companies, provided that we, we succeed together to ease up business doing and, and foreign investments in, 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 in Sri Lanka. The economic crisis has uh, disproportionately affected uh, communities in the north and east of Sri Lanka. You mentioned uh, a German tech in Kilinochi as well. Um, speak to us about the importance of having an equitable process of vocational training and education uh, and how can Germany help in this respect? The German Centers for um, Vocational Training, um, of course, they, they, they transfer technical skills. Uh, but with the technical skills, they open as well um, the perspective beyond the technical sphere. Um, modern business is uh, based on global understanding and, and, and global cooperation. Um, getting in touch with German technology, getting in touch with German language, we haven't talked so far about the Goethe Institute, which we will maybe uh, doing later, um, opens uh, for, for the citizens, for the participants, their mind. 
and they can train their mind um, taking into account new perspectives balancing it and this leads to a, a more balanced um, a view and, and a enhanced capacity to solve problems. We're going for a short commercial break. We're in conversation uh, with Ambassador Dr. Felix Neumann. We'll be right back. People's Platform. TV One. TV for Life. Cannot place the entire blame for the economic collapse on the Rajapakshas. President speaks on Supreme Court judgment to Indian media. Taxes were reduced with the concurrence of the opposition. Slashing taxes was not the reason for the economic collapse. Former Finance Secretary speaks. SJB pressures the government to take action against those found responsible for the economic crisis in the Supreme Court judgment. Select committee to inquire into the Constitutional Council. President informs Parliament. नील पबलो कसादे पालवीनी रात्रीत मांगेन में ही तेरी तीन दिन हादन आप इतने के जीवित है तैनाक तीन ने मट्टे वितर आए हैं मोमो दानव ने आधी इमली कोई तरंग आधर इन हिटिए केला नहीं ना मट्टे आके कान तरंग बाढ़ गिने ओ यामो को दो तंटे वेला बाला आगे नींने गो किचन खानो ने नंग यह हादागे ने काई मांगो यहाँ से � Inflation, exchange rates and the rise and fall of the stock market. Bringing you insights into the business world. Watch the business buzz every Tuesday at 9.30pm on TV1. Platform. Welcome back to the show. I am in conversation with Dr. Felix Neumann, Ambassador of the Federal Republic of Germany to Sri Lanka. Uh, Dr. Neumann, on the topic of peace building and non recurrence of conflict, Germany successfully uses its education system to uh, teach its children about the country's past, about about its history which is geared towards fostering a culture of inclusiveness and uh, equality what lessons must Sri Lanka learn uh, as Sri Lanka is going through a process of education reform in teaching meaningful history conflict and peace studies towards ensuring a more equitable society well it is of course the Sri Lankan sovereign decision how and and and, 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 and what the um, curriculum are in the in the Sri Lankan schools uh, but I'm very grateful for these questions uh, as it gives me the op opportunity um, to talk about our German experience indeed we made a lot of good experience by underlining that remembrance is, is very important and with the remembrance an open discussion. And there is a need for everyone to express his or her experience and even if the experience or 
especially if the experience, these experiences are marked by um, atrocities as a, as, a, as a witness of, of, of atrocities or even as a victim, it is necessary that this is spoken out, that there is an, an open area for a discussion, um, for questions and answers. If such a uh, process of discussion is allowed, we in Germany, we have the experience this is sometimes painful. It was painful for us. In Germany, we needed quite a lot of time um, because we were afraid of the pain. Um, but once we started, we, um, uh, we realized that um, the pain must come out. And once it's out and discussed, um, this does not wipe out the, the, the experience, but then the experience is on the table, you can discuss it, um, there may be controversial um, um, discussions, but in the end it establishes a common understanding of the past and an inclusive understanding. So there is not only one perspective, this is the past, and then this past, this view of the past must be defended. No, if everyone has a, uh, an inclusive understanding of the past and as we are all human beings um, there may be different understandings but if it is inclusive then at least in Germany it, it led to the reconciliation and our experience is that all over the world in all countries in all peoples um, um, a mind that sh um, if this is, this is done we are rather optimistic that our our positive um, um, experience with that can be easily repeated in other countries as well, in Sri Lanka as well. Uh, Ambassador, arts and culture um, play a significant role in bringing communities together and the universality of art itself shows us how um, it can bring countries together as well. Uh, the Goethe Institute does some phenomenal work. Do you believe that arts has a greater role in the grander scheme of uh, things. We also spoke about uh, the importance of healing. I would agree, Germany would agree on that. Um, arts and cultures are very important for a global understanding. Um, they need to be uh, open-minded. That is why in Germany in 1957 the Goethe Institute uh, was founded and, and concluded a contract with the German Federal Foreign Office to provide this global culture. Um, it is of course a, a, a German institute um, and it is near and is financed to a big extent um, by the German Federal Foreign Office but it is independent in its, in its way uh, to provide culture and art and the Goethe Institute is also the messenger of the German language because language is the key to understand foreign culture. Uh, therefore, uh, Goethe Institute uh, fosters on a global scale, but especially in Sri Lanka as well, the knowledge of the German language. Um, more than 80 schools are partners of the Goethe Institute um, to train um, scholars, to train uh, teachers as well. I myself, it's now two, two days ago, I had the honor and the privilege to assist to an award to 65 Sri Lankan teachers who successfully concluded such language training and then now they go out in the schools and they spread the German language again and with the German language comes the German culture and the understanding of a foreign culture. Um, and let me come back to the language point maybe once again. Um, more than 4,000 Sri Lankans every year uh, pass the exam uh, um, of, on different levels of the German language uh, within the Goethe Institute. And um, afterwards, um, they understand the German literature, of course. And uh, the Goethe Institute provides a library, uh, Nowadays I would say not only books, but it's an electronic uh, library as well, the latest electronic games mm -hmm. as well. Um, so um, it's even not necessary to travel long distances. The German culture is centered there and is open for everyone. 
and of course the Goethe Institute uh, has a reach out in the country. There are cultural festivals, dancing events, um, exhibitions, and a human being is not only working on the on, on the relation of, of work and business, we are all uh, a part of a, of a cultural universe as well. And um, in the ways I tried to describe, uh, this offers the opportunity to meet in that cultural universe. And meeting between different cultures promote understanding and understanding promotes co cooperation and cooperation um, promotes a peaceful world. We are meeting on the sidelines of uh, uh, the two countries um, celebrating 70 years of diplomatic relations. Um, as I began the interview I said that Sri Lanka is in a unique um, position uh, in terms of um, striving towards economic recovery. Um, in terms of um, socio-economic development, what role can Germany play in furthering Sri Lanka's uh, economic recovery? You started off saying that Germany is Sri Lanka's friend. What kind of cooperation, uh, bilateral cooperation, technical cooperation can we um, expect? Yes, Germany um, looks back into seven um, decades of, of cooperation. We have the structures, I just touched upon it. We have these German tech centers, uh, we have the vocational training, we have the the German Sri Lankan Business Council as well, a, a body which is active since 1999. All this together led in 91 to a, a, a sum up of one and a half billion um, uh, 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 Deutschmarks at the time mm -hmm. for financial cooperation and technical cooperation. Now speaking of today, um, we mentioned in the first part uh, that um, the bilateral exchange, uh, m um, trade exchange is worth 1.1 billion euros, which would be two billion uh, Deutschmarks mm -hmm. uh, at the time. So. What is important is that we ease the possibilities for business and investment. We are working closely together with our Sri Lankan partners uh, to set up uh, uh, regulations which are open-minded. German companies and German industry is ready to invest abroad. Uh, there is no lack of capital. Uh, it, the contrary, um, the German society um, has more capacities than they it, it needs itself. So, what is it is from our point we wish to invest in foreign countries. And as I said, Germany is, a, is here as a friend. Of course, we prefer to uh, to, to invest in, in in friendly countries in which we trust and we trust in the capacity of Sri Lanka to ease up these conditions and these sponge of then German investments building up the, the vocational centers training uh, training uh, the labor force here this will create growth economic growth and that is what uh, Sri Lanka as many other countries as Germany as well what we need economic growth because when the growth starts um, Every country has the capacity to grow out of, of, of its debts because the, the money creates more money, value added, if, if, uh, as the economics say. And um, um, I see already that it, it, it starts. I, I have seen the big cruise, cruise lines coming back within the tourist uh, sector. I have seen that they invest here in, in, in schools hotel schools, schools for gastronomy and then and the hotel business and the young Sri Lankans uh, students that are working in these schools then they go on these ships um, and they have a lot of possibilities for a career and of course they are linked to their families here and and all together this is what 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 we are working for together with Sri Lanka speak to us about uh, the celebrations um, planned for Saturday in view of the uh, 75th, uh, 70th anniversary of the two countries. Thank you for this question. This gives me the possibility um, to invite everyone for the 2nd of December uh, on the golf face green starting at, at 3 o'clock uh, in the afternoon 
there will be a big tent, uh, there will be a stage with cultural events on it. Um, um, uh, German companies will showcase what they are doing, what they are able to do, what they wish to do with the Sri Lankan partners. Mm -hmm. um, there will be stalls of this German network, the Goethe Institute, which we mentioned, the German academic exchange um, uh, service, the GIZ will be there, the development aid agency of, of Germany, uh, the Friedrich Naumann Stiftung for the political discussions, which we touched upon as well, the, 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 the German Chamber for F Trade and, and Commerce. Um, there will be uh, stalls where you can buy food, either Sri Lankan ones or, or, or German ones. And of course the entry is free, it's f uh, free of charge, all the entertainment. There will be a children's corner, a puppet show um, where parents and, and their children can, can, can play together. So uh, the idea is um, to say thank you to the uh, Sri Lankan people, thank you to say thank you to Sri Lanka for seven decades of a, a wonderful relationship between the two countries. And finally, Ambassador, what does the future of uh, bilateral relations between the two countries look like? Um, I'm very optimistic that seven, seven decades is by far not the end of our relations, uh, but it is maybe in a historical point of view, it's a, f it's a first very good start. Um, uh, we will have a, a new era of, of bilateral relations. Um, in 1952 Germany was a, a small country, um, uh, not unified, uh, with the burden of a lost war, um, starting with a currency which was not convertible and, and very few partners in the world. Sri Lanka became one of it. Today, um, w w both Sri Lanka and Germany are settled democracies having 70 years of successful history behind them. So the conditions to build up together something are by far better than in 52 and we already su succeeded in 52. All right, uh, Dr. Felix Neumann, thank you very much for coming into the studio today. Thank you. Thank you for watching us and we'll see you again. Good night.